Hey, what's up everybody? Colton here. Today, I want to talk to you guys about a few of my favorite search baits that I use when I'm trying to find schools of redfish and speckled trout. All right, we're going to talk about the baits, we're going to talk about how they're rigged, and we're going to talk about the retrieves I use to help me catch big numbers of quality fish. So stick around, and hopefully you'll learn something. All right, guys, so the first thing I want to talk about are jig heads, all right? So here, I've got a 1 8 ounce jig head and a quarter ounce jig head. Now, I'll always have both of these with me out in my kayak, and sometimes I'll have a 3 8 or, you know, a half ounce, something like that, but for most of the waters I fish, the quarter ounce is plenty, and the 1 8 ounce I'll use in very shallow water if the fish are really pushed up on the banks. Now, when I leave home, I will have a quarter ounce jig head with a Z-Man minnow or diesel minnow rigged up on one of my rods. And that is my primary search bait, okay? So when I pull up into a spot that I think is gonna produce fish, I go to my jig head first. Quarter ounce jig head with a swim bait because I can power fish that bait 360 degrees around my kayak. So I can throw it out, steady retrieve it, throw it out, steady retrieve it. It gets back to me quickly, I don't have to finesse it at all, and I can find the fish and what spot they're in, and I can isolate that area, and then I can change things up. So if you throw a quarter ounce jig head, and you're getting grass from the bottom, or you're getting hung up on the oyster reefs, the first thought would be to switch to a lighter jig head. But I will not do that. I will leave my quarter ounce on, and first thing I'll try to do is speed up my retrieve a little bit. If I can speed up that retrieve, and that does enough to keep it off the bottom, I'm still gonna get the fish to strike, and, plus, and that jig head, that quarter ounce jig head, when casted up towards the bank and worked back to me, is gonna get that desired fall as I slow my retrieve down closer to the kayak, as if I'm working from the shallows to the deeper water. All right, so if I switch to the 1 8, my steady retrieve is gonna keep it higher in the water column as I'm coming down those drop-offs. And that's not the desired effect, that's not what I want. So, if I start picking up grass when I'm using this quarter ounce jig head, the very first thing I'm gonna to try to do is to speed up my retrieve a little bit. The main thing you lose when switching from a heavier jig head to a much lighter jig head is your casting distance. And if you're out fishing in any kind of wind, casting distance can become everything. This same Z-Man can be used with this same jig head in a slow troll behind the kayak. So if I get to a spot and I'm fan casting and I don't find any fish, I'll throw that jig head behind me and pedal out in search of fish. And once I find them on the troll, I'll loop back around and I'll power fish that spot to see how many fish I can pull out of that school before it moves on. The second search bait I want to talk about is the XL Miradine from Miralore. I prefer the XL profile because I think it gets rid of smaller fish. I've caught more, I've, I've caught fewer small trout with the Miradine XL, but you'll catch trout and redfish with this bait. You can work the Miradine on a steady retrieve, but the desired effect of this lure is to cast it out give it a twitch twitch, let it fall, twitch twitch, let it fall. It's a suspended twitch bait, but it still has a fairly significant sink rate or fall rate. So when you cast it out there and you give it that twitch twitch, you're getting that erratic. And then when you let it fall, as it's falling, it's going to flutter down and then twitch again and flutter down. And more often than not, you're gonna get the strike on that fall. There are times where you won't even know you have a fish on until you go to give it that second or third twitch and you'll feel the weight 
and then you set the hook and it's game on. So we have the Mirrodin XL, and the next one I want to talk about is the 17MR. This is another Mirrodin profile by Mirrorlore, and it's, as you can tell, it is much smaller than the XL, but it's the exact same lure, just a miniature version. I would prefer to fish the XL, but if it's a nice calm day and I'm getting plenty of distance with the 17MR, this little guy will catch every class of trout there is. You'll catch gator trout, just the same as you'll catch little dink trout. Personally, I find that I catch more big fish on the XL and fewer small fish, common sense kind of thing, but to me, that's a big deal. I'm after quality fish more so than quantity. So I prefer larger baits with larger profiles. How about the gulps, the swimming mullets, they're you know, they're scented, they're not nearly as durable as Z-Man, but the point, the reason I even brought them out for this is they serve the same purpose as far as that curly tail. So that tail will give you the same action that you get, or quality kind of action that you get out of a paddle tail, so you can power fish it and straight retrieve rather than having to finesse it. Um, and you can still catch fish and you can locate schools that way. But the last search bait that I want to talk about is the one that I use when I'm relocating from spot to spot, okay? This is the MR52 by Mirrorlore. This is my favorite trolling profile that Mirrorlore makes. Anytime I'm going from spot to spot, I will relocate dragging this behind me. If I'm using this and I catch a fish on the troll, I will loop back and use either my Mirrodin XL or the Z-Man Minnow on the jig head to really work that school of fish. I don't cast the MR-52s, I just drag them behind me when I'm relocating from spot to spot. So when it comes to trolling, the MR-52 is by far my number one pick for searching for fish. <laughs> All right guys, so if you're like me and you like to keep things a little bit budget friendly when you're out there fishing, these are my staples, these are my go-tos, these are my, I will not leave the house without lures for when it comes to locating and fishing schools of redfish and speckled trout. All right, so I hope you learned something today. If you did and you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and hit that notifications icon. We're coming out with videos all summer long. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Get out there and catch some fish. I'll see you next time.